Hi designers, thanks for joining our Instagram live through Makers Row. I am Anna Livermore and I'm owner of Vimora and at Vimora we help designers do patterns and samples, production management, budgeting, all the things involved in launching a clothing line is how we help designers. And I have partnered up with Makers Row. We've been working with Makers Row for a long time and um, they're a great resource for new designers. You guys all know that because you're already on their Instagram Live. But they're starting this company called Embark Live, which is going to be really, really cool, where they're connecting entrepreneurs and business owners with business experts in their field. And I am humbled and grateful to be a part of one of their experts for their fashion consulting. Today we are talking about, and I have notes, so I'm sorry if I'm going to look away to look at the notes, but today we're talking about, you know, what's going on in today's environment with COVID-19 and um, so many designers are asking like, what do we do? How do we pivot? What are we supposed to do? Can you provide tips? So Makers Row has asked me to do a presentation today around some different ideas of things that you can implement in your business today that will help you through this COVID-19. Um, the important thing to remember is we're all in this together. Everyone is happening, you know, going through this and figuring things out and working as a community. And that is one of the reasons why we have today's um, seminar. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is reviewing your message. So obviously you can't just ignore what's happening, right? You want to address the crisis in some way, but do your best to have a, a positive outlook on life, on, on your designs. Um, you know, messages like, we understand that you're going through this. Uh, we're offering 25% off. My designers are still launching and people are still buying. People are still selling. Everyone's just home and it's our new normal for now. And we'll see how long. We don't know how long it'll last, but the important part is, is to just continue with what you're doing and be the business owner that you were born to be and launching through this, figuring out a way to speak to your audience. Um, I have some examples. I have a bridal client who's doing, you know, obviously she does bridesmaids dresses and wedding outfits or wedding dresses. And, you know, people are still gonna be getting married. And there's that girl out there who still wants to be shopping for her wedding dress, still wants to be browsing for um, what she's gonna wear on her special day. And by designers, promoting and still selling and still showing them the dresses it's giving them the permission to look forward to look excited to be excited for that day because they are going to be getting married and they are going to want to wear a beautiful dress maybe you know that's going to be in their backyard and it's going to be a social distancing wedding but they are going to get married and they are going to want to wear a beautiful dress so continue to launch and give them that permission, that permission to look into the future and look at these beautiful dresses. I have another designer who we've started the hashtag, um, hashtag the dog walks are the new cat walks. So putting together outfits um, for what you can wear in the rain or what you can wear down the street, like that's the only time we're leaving. People are leaving a hundred times a day to do these dog walks. So she was able to launch and still promote products and use this hashtag again, shining light on what's happening without going to the negative. Um, designers are successfully selling through, you know, I know you could use a little bit of light in your day. How about this new yellow dress? Things like that. So just pay attention to other designers and their messages and figure out what your message is gonna be. How are you gonna to talk to your audience? What are you gonna say? Um, what, what feels right for you? So you will have to pivot your message in some way. Also planning some immediate business plans. Um, as an entrepreneur, we signed up for figuring things out, for when problems arise, we have to figure it out. Like we have to find the solutions. We don't have a boss to go to. We can't hand it off to somebody else. Um, you know, it might be the situation where you don't have a factory. 
Yes, COVID is the reason that the factories have shut down, but I've worked with hundreds of designers in the past where all of a sudden their factory is too busy, they go into production and they have to find a new factory. So this is not completely unheard of where all of a sudden you have to find a new factory and find who can take your project. Um, and just in general, like as an entrepreneur, I've had my company for 12 years and things come up. Things come up where I have to pivot and I have to think differently and I have to think outside of the box and figure out a solution. So this is, while it's you know larger than anything I've ever dealt with, the the problems on the day-to-day -day of finding new factories, finding a new message, those tasks aren't new. Those tasks aren't anything that you won't have to deal with in the future because more than likely, maybe you'll outgrow a factory and have to find a new factory. Or like I said, the factory will be too busy and you'll have to find a new factory. So just realizing that as entrepreneurs, we are dealing with stressful situations with having to pivot. And that's what keeps us successful. That's what keeps us um, having a company is being able to problem solve and being able to be faced with an issue, figure out a solution, find your solution A, B, or C. You know, if A doesn't work, you've got B, then go to C. Whatever it is to figure it out, you want to, you know, pivot your business plans pivot what that looks like. Um, the, yeah, adapting your business models. So again, just sit down. You know, uh, avoidance is also something that you don't want to do, whether that means like talking to your accountant, accountant about your monthly fees and seeing if you can prolong that. Um, you know, facing it if you have a special order with a customer and you're not able to get the fabric, talking to them directly, telling them the situation, like we can't hide from this. We have to continue to figure out solutions, write those emails, figure out what your next steps are, put together a plan, put together a plan B, put together a plan C, but you just wanna to continue to strategize and continue to figure things out. The worst thing that you can do is just freeze right now. Um, you know, even if you aren't uh, moving forward with your production, you can now figure out you know, your social media. You can start putting together things to do for next year. You can use this creative time for building your business in other ways. Uh, blog writing, I know I'm the worst at it, um, but I've been spending some time with helping my clients write blogs. What are those blog topics? Really community is so important right now. So speaking to your customers, making sure that they know what you're doing, that you're still moving forward with that launch. If you're pushing the launch back, let them know what that looks like. So being very active and figuring out what your plan is now, now that um, you know things might've changed. The other thing is, uh, you know, figuring out new ways of doing business. How are things going to change? Uh, I like to deal with the task at hand, right? Because right, right now the future is really uncertain. Uh, we don't know. I'm in New York, so we don't know how long we're going to be on mandatory shutdown. So right now we've got clients doing patterns. Once they get to samples, we'll have a sample maker. Once they get to production. The, the lift, you know, the ban might be lifted. So we'll be able to work with our factories or we might have to work with factories elsewhere or we might have to put it on hold. But right now, today, we don't know. So I'm uh, encouraging my designers to just deal with the task at hand because things are changing so quickly. So, you know, yes, you can look forward into the future and have all of these problems that might come up, all of these things that you might have to deal with, but unless it is something that you have to make a decision on today, just dealing with things as they come. Um, because yeah, because by the time you make that decision or by the time you have to go into production, things might look differently. So you're setting yourself up for worrying about things when we don't know the answers right now. You wanna be prepared to make a shift in the market. Like I said, as entrepreneurs, we are always dealing with problems that arise and figuring out new ways to do things. So this is bigger, but it's not something that you can't solve. The great thing about the community is everybody's thinking about an us um, and a we over an I. 
A lot of designers are doing masks and figuring out ways to help the medical community, but it's been really great to see kind of this, these people banding together and these people trying to work through um, just talking to one another. You're all going through this, talking to other designers, figuring out what they're doing, seeing how you can put together a support group. But now more than ever, people are thinking about an us instead of an I. So what can you do that's helping the community? And like I said, that might be launching that wedding dress and giving that bride permission to think about her special day. And in planning for, you know, this will lift, this will, we don't know exactly when, but there will be a day where everyone's gonna go out and everyone's gonna celebrate. And we're gonna have those events that we've been putting off and we're gonna be having those parties. So thinking about the future, thinking about that day. And yes, right now, everyone is in this crisis mode. Um, but like I said, it is gonna lift and deciding that you are going to think about that day. And you're gonna think about the day when you know, you get to go to that bridal shower, you get to go to that party or that wedding, and it's gonna be a time for celebration. And as far as logistically, you wanna remember that the factories are gonna be really busy. So when that happens, the factories will have the projects that they were working on, as well as the projects that have been held off through the lockdown. So if there is a way that you can find a factory to start your project, or if you can find a way to have your goods cut prior to being sewn, or anything that you can do to get yourself in the door now, um, will help you when the lockdown is lifted. Uh, there are factories that are able to practice social distancing. So whether that means that sometimes the, the shifts are split, so they've got the morning shift and the afternoon shift, so they're able to still practice social distancing and keeping their doors open. But if you can get into a factory now, that's gonna help you because like I said, when this lifts, the factories are gonna be backed up. So you'll wanna be prepared for that. I also want everyone to write their story now more than ever and after corona people are going to be very aware of where they spend their money they're going to want to know about you about your designs about why you launched this company and where they're spending their money that's more important than anything right now um, so writing that story staying in front of your audience connecting with other designers uh, you want to choose there's there's different messages going on. There's definitely the fear and the anxiety, but if we're looking, there's also this movement of the good news movement, which I love following, and the people that are choosing to be more positive, the people that are choosing to, sorry about that. Um, so you wanna be, you wanna choose, like where are you gonna stand? And for me, the first week happened with the shutdowns and everything and I chose for my designers and for my employees that I was going to have a positive outlook, that I was going to figure things out. It doesn't mean that we have to completely ignore what's going on, but we have to make the best out of any solution. Um, and we're working from home and we're working with designers and we're figuring things out. So the important part I want everyone to walk away with is just being able to adapt and being able to pivot and to feel okay about that. Because like I said, this is gonna lift and people are still shopping. People are still at home um, browsing the internet. If anything, you might wanna be prepared for more people to be browsing and less people to be actually purchasing. But again, that's brand awareness about letting people know who you are and what you're doing and writing those blogs and staying creative and staying active on social media. Uh, so that is what I had today prepared for, um, you know, how you can pivot. We have uh, two other talks. I've got one next Monday at three and another one the following Monday at three. So we'll have some different topics for that. And if you have any questions, you can contact me via Makers Row. So it's makersrow.com 
backslash V dash Mora. So V Mora is my company and you can contact us through the messenger on uh, Makers Row. But I have some time now for questions. So I just wanted to open up the floor if you type into the comment section. I, I see that you guys were posting questions. Um, so I can either scroll through or if you want to go ahead and retype your questions, then it'll come up and I'll do that. I see one. Do you know how spring 2020 collections are doing? So yes, I spent an entire day talking to past designers, other people in the industry. Are they launching? Are they selling? And, and they are. Everyone is launching, uh, not everyone, but a lot of people are launching as planned and they're still selling. And I would suggest following those designers, find some independent designers that maybe have three years under their belt and watch their stories and see their launch. Um, I just saw a designer saying that they had sold out of their collection that they had just, or one of their styles that they launched on April 2nd. So look for the hopeful news of the people that are launching and selling successfully. Uh, what are the steps I should be taking towards branding? Yes, there's so much you can do for branding. Make sure that you have your story. Who is your story? Who are you launching for? Who is your customer? Make sure that that's crystal clear and put together your your branding message, um, your color story. You want to take this time. You can back up all your images for... Uh, for Instagram so you can create a whole log of what you're gonna post for the next three months what you're gonna post on your mailers writing these blogs so taking this time to just generate content make a ton of content uh, so right now taking the steps for branding like I said write your story out put together a mood board and get your Instagram photos backlogged so you don't have to be looking for something to post every time so you can backlog those and writing some blogs. So those are the things that I'd say you should be working on for your branding. Is this something that your company could help with? Yes, absolutely. So at Vimora, we can help you with creating those mood boards, giving you the content for your Instagram, helping you. You wanna find the hashtags that are relevant in your area. You want to find in, uh, influencers that you want to work with, putting together a list for that so we can help with that. Uh, writing contracts for those influencers. Uh, find some like brands that would be good for you to, uh, to base your own branding message off of. Um, I found it difficult to find a sewing contractor. Any suggestions? Makers Row, if, you're not, if you haven't been on Makers Row, definitely go to Makers Row. They've got a ton of factories and sewers. Um, you know, just the other day I was driving and I saw a sign for a seamstress outside someone's house. So I'm going to call them because we're looking for sewers at the moment. But um, dry cleaners sometimes have really good sewers. And now with factories being closed, dry cleaners are an essential business. So you can sometimes find some really talented sewers through the dry cleaners. Um, so yeah, figuring it out, making ends, you know, ends meet and finding your sewers wherever, because there's a lot of talented sewers out there that aren't necessarily always at a factory. Uh, I need to get on there. Yes, get on Makers Row. Makers Row is a really, really great source for new designers. They have fabric vendors, they have sewers and factories and uh, people for trims. There's so many resources on Maker, Makers Row. So yes, definitely. Okay, it looks like I can scroll. Any more questions? All right, I think that might be it. Anyone have any other questions? You can ask me anything at all. How about cosmetics? So we have not worked with cosmetics, but there are companies that help with cosmetics. I don't know if Makers Row has cosmetics on there, but um, yeah, unfortunately we have not gotten into cosmetics yet. Uh, do you provide US manufacturers? Yes, we do, and Makers Row is all US manufacturers. I'm Canadian, living living in Trinidad. Samples being made 
and plan to head to Canada after manufacturing in Trinidad is non-existent. Yes, yeah, so, so you can always work offshore and uh, the Dominican Republic has some really great factories that's a little bit closer to you. Um, but yes, we can help you find someone for manufacturing anywhere in the world, but uh, particularly in the US. How can I scale fast during the virus mess? Uh, you know, just hustle, stay at it, continue to work, um, continue to grow, continue to ask yourself this question during the day is what I'm doing right now, helping me move forward, helping me towards that bigger goal. And if the answer is yes, just continuing to do that. After I have a sample, do you think it is a good thing to pre-order before we go into production during this time? So pre-orders, the, the pre-orders are a harder sell because in general, people like to order and have it delivered, but it's not a bad idea to have pre-orders. A lot of designers are successful in that. Um, so yeah, again, like do whatever you can to figure out what works. And if that's pre-ordering and you're able to get enough pre-orders to do production, amazing. It's right now just thinking outside the box and figuring out what works for you. Um, I feel like there's are, there's tons of companies to work with. It can be overwhelming. Yeah, um, a lot of things can be overwhelming. And when you're feeling overwhelmed, I always just suggest you take a step back, regroup, whether that means like go to a yoga class, do some meditation. When I'm working in overwhelm, I'm not really working productively. So try to step back instead of jump in harder when you're feeling overwhelmed. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of companies and I'm always just an advocate to trust your gut. Get on the phone with these people, talk to them, see if you can get resources, other people that they've worked with. Uh, and yeah, take a chance and trust yourself. Um, also, where can I message you to inquire about services? Again, Makers Row, makersrow.com backslash vmora actually i'm going to put it in the comments um i'll put it in the comments so you can see that okay so i just put it in the comments makersrow.com backslash v dash mora so you can ask me anything there okay let's see how can smaller manufacturers compete with hospital business against larger manufacturers under cutting bids? I don't understand that question. Um, how can smaller manufacturers compete with the hospital business? I think if maybe you're talking about making masks and competing with companies making larger production, um, Sometimes you can't compete with larger production. You have to figure out what works for you and uh, what you're able to sell. And again, that's like, as a newer designer trying to compete with someone like H&M, they're huge, they have a lot of manufacturers, they're able to do fast fashion, and as a new designer, it's really hard to compete with them. So maybe figuring out where your market is more specifically. I don't know if that really answered your question, but... Um, if you want to rewrite it. Is your current company currently helping facilitate mask making? Yes, we are. We have a factory that's working on making masks. Um, and a lot of my designers are doing it at home. So yes, we are helping with masks. Hmm, let's see. Is Fiverr a good place for tech packs? I've never used Fiverr, but tech packs are very industry specific. So if there's, uh, if you're able to find someone and they're able to give you an example of other tech packs that they've done, but again, it's also sometimes specific to the factory you're working with. So you'll want to talk to your factory to make sure all your tech packs are currently up to par with what they'll expect because you don't want to have to do your tech packs over. Um, I have my sample. Do you think it is a good thing to pre-order? Oh, I did that question. Okay. Let's see. 
can you save the video to access this later? Yes, so I am going to save this video. It will be posted on the Makers Row account as well as my account. Um, so I believe that you, yes, yes, you should be able to. Uh, we're gonna send out a link to with this video to watch later. All right, are there any other questions? Anything at all? No? All right, well, thank you everyone for joining in today. This was really, really fun. Um, it gave me an excuse to put on makeup, which I haven't done in a long time. So it's been really, really fun. And I really respect all of you guys. This is a tough time to be an entrepreneur, but think about this, like if we get through this and we're on the other side, I can't foresee anything being this difficult again. So like any issues that come up, anything in the future, you'll be like, we got through COVID, like we can get through anything. So keep working hard. Again, you can contact us at makersrow.com backslash V dash Mora. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next Monday at three. Although I think Makers Row is doing more talks. So just stay close with them. Uh, Embark Live is taking a wait list. It doesn't launch until May 4th, but that's going to be great. Uh, so yeah, just stay connected. Makers Row, Embark Live, amazing resources for new designers. And thank you so much, everybody, and have a good rest of your day.